President Bola Tinubu has approved the full implementation of the Stephen Oronsaye panel report to merge some parastatals, agencies and some commissions, while some will be subsumed, scrapped or relocated. The President's decision was disclosed at the end of this week's Federal Executive Council meeting. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. After more than a decade of gathering dust, the Orosanye report finally sees the light of day. President Bola Tinubu has taken a decision to tread where others feared by fine-tuning and restructuring the operations of government to cut costs and improve efficiency. The implementation involves merging, subsuming and scrapping agencies with similar functions. The president has also constituted a committee that will work within a 12-week period to actualize this new directive. National Agency for Control of AIDS, HIV AIDS, NACA to be merged with the Center for Disease Control in the Federal Ministry of Health. National Emergency Management Agency to be merged with the National Commission for Refugee Migration and Internally Displaced Persons. Now what that means is that uh, a number of agencies, commissions, and some departments have actually been scrapped. Some have been merged, while others have been subsumed. The Federal Executive Council meeting also received the report submitted by the Interministerial Panel, set up to review the affairs of the National Social Investment Program. Significant recommendations were approved by President Tinubu, and these include social security payments to vulnerable households, payment of unemployment benefits, a social consumer credit program, among others. Comprising 60 million Nigerians is to resume immediately with the proviso, with the important proviso that every beneficiary will be identified by the NIN, National Identity Number, and the BVN. And what we're looking to do here is the triangulation of this data set to ensure that not only are we using uh, the register that is properly, properly been, been uh, uh, populated, but that we also do proper verification of every individual that will benefit from, from that investment, uh, that social investment program. For the Ministry of Works, approval was given for the construction of a 700-kilometer coastal road from Lagos through coastal states to cross river states. Goes through Lagos, goes through um, the Lake Deep Sea port, goes through uh, Ogun state, Ondo state, Delta, by by Elsa, Port Harcourt, Akwaibum to cross the river. But we also have two spores, you know, spores that lead to the north. That goes from uh, the ongoing Badagri Sokoto Road and the one that leads to the Transhara uh, Road that goes from Ogoja down to Cameroon. All eyes will now be on President Tinubu's administration as he takes bold steps towards the implementation of a report considered to be the silver bullet in restructuring and reforming Nigeria's civil service through the rationalization of agencies. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. More on the federal government's decision. The special advisor to the president on policy coordination, Hadiza Balausman, joins me on the news. Thanks for joining us on TVC News at 10. Thank you for having me. All right. So is this a coincidence based on the current situation of the country, or is this a well-thought-out decision by this administration to implement this report 12 years after? Um, it is a well-thought-through um, plan that we've had. If you check our Renewed Hope Manifesto, you would have seen that um, our administration referenced that as one of the items we're going to do um, around governance. So it's something that we have been working on and we have planned. Um, so you'd see that um, the respective white papers arising from the 2014-2012 um, review and also arising from the 2021 and 2022 review. So we've looked at them extensively and we have extracted the recommendations 
around the merging of agencies, subsuming agencies, scrapping of agency, and relocation of agencies to certain ministries. Um, so this is something that we've worked on. We believe is the right um, thing for our administration to take such a strong position in reforming our governance structure. But then there are fears which some expressed in the past as a major bottleneck that prevented previous administrations from actually implementing the Oronsai report. And that is the fact that there will be job loss. Is that the case here? Um, no, we will not. Um, as we mentioned during the press briefing, we're not going to have any job losses. The functions of agencies that are so subsumed will be transferred into um, certain departments um, in, in ministries. So all the um, there won't be any job losses that will arise from this. But um, the area of um, cost savings will arise from duplication of functions, duplication of, du of duties, and overlapping um, aspects of the work. Um, so we believe that those cost saving measures sit within the reorganization and the larger implementation of the functions of those agencies. All right. And then let's talk about, uh, you know, the decision by the Nigeria Labour Congress to insist on a two-day nationwide protest, which should actually begin tomorrow, Tuesday. What's your word to Labour at this time? We have, we have held meetings um, with uh, the unions where it's clear that um, our government has fulfilled over 80% of the promises that were signed in Memorandum of Understanding of October. So we've been able to address all those concerns that um, have been provided and we've committed to all our promises um, except for the C, um, the, um, the gas conversion kits and the, and the buses which are tied to um, a procurement process that recognizes the fact that these items are not on the shelf for you to buy, but you need to order them. So our government has fulfilled all its purposes arising from the uh, Memorandum of Understanding of October. As it relates to um, a protest, we've made it very clear to them that um, this is not a time for that, and um, engagements have been held um, yesterday, Sunday, by the Minister of Labor with the unions, and they're also having a continued engagement this evening to discuss and agree on the modality. But what's important is for Nigerians to recognize that we have held on to our commitments with the unions in uh, within all areas of um, the, the, the 15 um, point memorandum of understanding that was signed, and that is a commendable thing um, that has been um, has been achieved. So any other um, proposed protests around um, increase in cost of living is what um, we're discussing with um, the Ministry of Labor and the unions um, this evening, and a meeting was held last night as well. All right, and just before we let you go, as special advisor to the president on policy coordination, are we expecting surprises in terms of ministers? Uh, is there likely to be a shakeup in the cabinet? Well, we are working on ensuring that our deliverables, our ministers are able to deliver. And some of the functions that we do within the um, policy coordination is to ensure that there are no silos. And we work with the minister to support them to achieve their mandate. And of course, we're going to have an assessment, a first quarter assessment, to determine how um, far the ministers have gone in delivering on their key performance indicators. Um, so we're, we're working on it and um, citizens will be part of this assessment and um, I believe we would all be engaged at the right time from April 2024 when we're um, looking at the quarterly scorecard for all the ministers across the respective sectors. Special Advisor to President Bola Tinobu on Policy Coordination, Hadiza Balausman. Thank you so much for talking to us on TVC News at 10. Thank you very much for having me. Now moving to the next.